Hello guys, Blizzik SD here, come back with another tutorial. My name is Toby, and today I'm gonna tell you how to make this old photo effect just like this. And I use a photo of a studio, a building in a film studio, like this. So let's get started from the beginning. First, we're gonna make it as a layer so we can resize it with Ctrl T and the holding save and I'll click this button and drag it to the center to resize to make it the image smaller hit enter and then we want to make the background so create a new layer and put it under the the studio picture we have here and I'll delete it to to fill it with foreground color. I mean, I have white in foreground color, and by default, you have white color as a background color. So you need to control delete, and I'll delete to black, just like that. And then we need to create the effect, the original, the effect itself. The first thing is we're gonna make a huge saturation because we want to drag the saturation bring the saturation down just about 60 a half here and right click on the adjustment layer and create clipping mask so clipping mask is you apply this you apply this adjustment layer just to a layer under your adjustment layer so we just want to apply this adjustment layer to our picture of studio here. And then the next uh, the next is I think gradient map. So let's have a black and white gradient map and then go to overlay blending mode and the right click and create clipping mask we're done. And the next adjustment layer is next gradient map too but it's different gradient map we use purple to orange and the first thing is change the color to a nice light brown like this okay okay and then just the blending mode to multiply bring the opacity down just about 50 and create clipping mass and you may notice if we we just click the create clipping mass button and the gradient map didn't apply to our background our white background the photo border so yeah next thing is the texture itself and uh, we have a paper I have a paper old paper texture here and just drag it to our composition I mean not composition composition is for after effects but it doesn't matter so go and resize it and put it in the center and we need to release clipping mask for this just right click and the the release clipping mask button is the create clipping mask button itself and put it uh put it at the top of your image and set the blending mode to multiply you see here if we apply overlay the texture didn't apply to our border so we need to the border we need the border to become all too like this and we just need to bring the saturation down just about 60 and then I have uh, another open texture here, a grind texture. Just drag it onto our image, put it in the center, no flipping mask, and go and set the blending mode to overlay. And bring the opacity a little down. And we're done. So, this is the old photo effect I have here. 
something from this tutorial. If you like it, go and click like button. If you very like it, favorite it, add to playlist or share it with your friends so they can learn this effect too. My name is Dolby and see you again in another tutorial.